Red Bull Hardline for me is basically the best downhill race we have all year. It's got the biggest jumps, a sick track, it's in the UK, and yeah, it's just the best, biggest downhill race we have in the world. My season started off really well. It was going an upward trend. I was starting to do good. I crashed at one World Cup and got 17th, so I knew my speed was there. And then unfortunately, training at home, I broke my hand six and a half weeks ago now. So that was quite a big setback. But last two races, I'm starting to come back to form. I feel fit. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good and pretty confident coming into this one. Last year, finishing second, I actually wasn't that annoyed because it was cool to see G finally win, but I was definitely really slow at the bottom. I rode there way too safe, a bit nervous. So you would be way quicker at the bottom, I think, mainly just after that last row gap. And then above it, the rocks was hard for everyone. But if I can get the rocks cleaned up there and then this whole bottom section, I think I've got a chance of winning again. Can this man deny G Atherton back to back wins here at Red Bull Hardline then? The winner here in 2016. In fact, he's never been outside the top three since 2015. An incredible track record. This is the one that counts today though. Oh, he hit that first turn so hard. They're all getting wild up there. They that, really are. That's what it needs, I think. Bent a pedal right at the top of the track yesterday on that drop in qualifying. And Bernard's riding so confidently, you know, he's a confident guy, he's, he's got the chat, and that kind of comes across in his riding, you know, he's, he is really confident. Yeah, he's a fun guy to be around, Bernard Kerr. You can see he's attacking. Right when he's on his bike, though, he lets that do the talking. So, G's right, time, and he's cannon. up by over a second Whoa, in the first boy. split. Long way to go in this race run, though. But it's green for Kerr at the top. Second, the last two years here. And this is where it gets. Oh, and he's pushing. A little mistake there, perhaps. Oh, Corrected it, though. Bang, back on land now. It was Good. really fast. Really fast, fast yeah. Oh, and again. She had that mistake in this section and lost a lot of time there to, to Joe. So, Bernard's looking good. Coming into this, this section where he made a lot of time yesterday doing that little gap that he was doing. Which is just coming up now. Just picks it up again over there. I mean, it looks like nothing, but it's, it's a, there's so much on the track there, loads of rocks. But until yesterday, wow. until today, Burnham's the only one who done it. 2.2 .2 up now. So it's looking good for Bernard Kerr. He's looking really comfortable, really in control. Coming back from that broken hand. He was coming back from injury, actually, when he won here in 2016. He only got back on a bike for the World Championships then. Comes back with incredible form, like nothing has happened. Like most of these guys, and you, Rach, you've been through a few as well yourself. I think the ex after an injury, the excitement of getting back on your bike is, is too much to resist, and you just go for it. So the next big sting, then, in this track coming up. This is where he could get caught out. And he goes over to the rider's right, right off that peak of that big That's rock good. there, and it was perfect. Really nice through there. And you can see the confidence you're talking about in his riding there. Yeah, he's putting his bike where he wants it to go. We heard a few of his bre deep breaths there in those corners, I think. So he's really kind of, kind of trying to keep himself grounded, trying to keep himself in control. You've got to keep your head in the game at this point. That was good. Really smooth from Bernard. Stop, Bernard! Stop! Perfect off there, stops that landing. Oh, is he carrying as much speed across this camber? Yes, 2.8 up. up, nearly three seconds then. Just this big, long finish line straight to come then for Bernard Kerr. Not much can go wrong now, you could say. <laughs> You're a great person to say enough. You right, Bernard Kerr. One jump away from winning hardline for the second time. <laughs> Bernard Kerr is double hard. The first person ever to win Red Bull hardline twice. <laughs> Bernard Kerr takes Red Bull hardline 2019. Catching for Bernard. 250. <laughs> 2.52 the time in the end. It's a winning margin of over three seconds. Good His mum's run. there to congratulate him. That was sick. Perfect, that run. Really clean, really precise. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and he did it.